Hello, Sharuna. How are, how are you? Hello, Paulo. Thank you for be, being back here in Portugal. And um, I would like to talk with you more about your, you know, your, uh, like a director, how you do from the starting and everything, and how do you manage to start doing films in difficult situation that was it on the past in Lithuania and everything, you know, and I'd like to know. You start in, uh, in a school in Moscow, something like that, you know? I started earlier, yes. much, uh, much earlier. I was, uh, when I decided to make films, it was, I was 16. Mm -hmm. It was a time when I went to, the, to Siberia yes. by an accident, very high in the mountain. And I saw the small nation. And why, how did you, met, how did you went to Siberia? You know? It was a kind of a expedition by Kanoya. It was a professional expedition of sportsmen. sportsmen. Yeah. But one, uh, and one, one of my friends, which was 20 years older by, for, than me, but uh, he was uh, there and his companion suddenly could not because of his uh, wife died and something. So they, in three days, they just uh, in, involved me there. Yes. And I flight, uh, I was there with a, another passport. Yeah another name <laughs> yeah. because I was not allowed, you know, to go to the very difficult expedition yes. before without a degree of sports and so yeah. on. So it was illegal, but I was there. So we, we busted into mountains very high and there was a small village, very strange, like, uh, reservation of, 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 uh, Tofolark. Yeah people and uh, which were not absolutely not used to live in this in the houses and so on they were used to travel all, all, all along and uh, suddenly soviets put them into these reservations not allowing to travel because it's the mongolian border where this you know they were used to cross it so they did not want them to be free and I saw how they live there and saw these people and saw this beautiful, absolutely enormous nature and this horribly destroyed people. And it touched me too, too, uh, so much that before I, I wanted to do something, I, went, I was thinking that I would write uh, when I was like uh, 16. I would start to write and so on. I was writing poems. But when I saw that, I understood that there is an image and sounds and so on that I, you know, I see it and, and, and it touches so hard that it's the only one way is to film it, you know. And that's where you made few of us afterwards? <laughs> yeah, then I decided to do that at 19. When I was 19, it was the first expedition there. Yes. Where there were only three of us. We made a, a 20 minute documentary film. Finally, I was I stayed there almost half a year uh, until the deep winter, and then uh, because it was you know sixteen millimeters amatory film and so on, I I felt that I can I it was not feel full you know what I saw, and it was all the, always in my mind. And when we met in Berlin, I already had you know ten years later. Yes, you I already just... had a project to come back to the, to the 35. It was 10 years later, yes. Yeah, 10 but years. that's the, uh, uh, between you, you were to Moscow, went to Moscow. To yes, Kandir. then I went to Moscow because, you know, it was the only one school in Soviet Union mm -hmm. where you was allowed to make a professional cinema. Mm -hmm. Only one school. And it was called All Soviet Union, uh, United, uh, so on and so on, School of Cinema. And uh, without, I did not want to study there. I did not want to study at all. I wanted to study working. But uh, finally, I tried. I tried many things. I tried acting I mean, to go somehow into this, but it that doesn't work. It didn't work for anybody. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, only this one school because it was centralized of ideology ideology you know it was yes. ideology and they, so they centralized and uh, lithuania was part of uh, uh, the the soviet union. Russia, oh, soviet union at that soviet moment union, yes. yes at that yes. moment it was soviet union everything was you could not make your your you could not publish anything you could not make films so you by yourself on the amatory you even could not have a micro bus you know, yeah. on your own. You only had a light car yeah. and only one for family. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it was, you know, tough regulations, mm-hmm. very high, very tough. And um, the country was absolutely isolated. But the only one way was to go there. So I went, entered there, the school, uh, started to study started to work immediately. I went to back to Vilnius to shoot the documentary film of 40 minutes in February where they got gone by. Uh, started to have problems the, because they, you know, uh, let's say they, I shot the shot where there's cross. Yeah, the, and the they church. dropped immediately. And there are crowds and they want to sit on the cross, but because of wind, they are blown out and they want to sit and they are blown out. And that was a documentary shot. And when I came with this material to Moscow, to Moscow back and I wanted to start edit, I was not allowed. Oh. Because my, the, the master of the, of the class, yeah. he told me, what do you mean by that? And I told you, oh, I don't mean anything. I saw that. <laughs> and you shot. And I shot. So it, it, it's there. I did not painted it. I did not created it. And, and, and these crowds are not an actors. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it happened. So that's, that's, that's it. And he said, no, you have to write me exactly what do you mean about it? What do you mean? You have to something mean, uh, you know, some behind mm-hmm. meaning, you know. And it was like, uh, okay. And it was in every time, every time, everything that I would shoot, Every time you write me something, then I allow you to edit and so on because this was. Oh my God! <laughs> he had, I had to he have a signature <laughs> to go to an editing room, you know. Uh, and you, but you made two films before a few of us. You made the corridor yes, and, yes. and three days. Yes. The- then I, I had, I fight with this master a lot. But then I go went to another master. Mm-hmm. Kirikairakli Kurikadze, which was uh, absolutely different. And I could do what I, I, I did what I wanted. And then I started the first feature. I mean, I was in the third class, I think. And it was uh, already private film. For, we made an ag- agreement with Estonian company, which was very newborn, also mm. uh, just. Because not, and at that time, time Gorbachev time came, right. and you already could do, you mm-hmm. know, you had you had to make it in cooperation, with, but you cooperation could. organization, cooperation organization, but you could publish something. We could make some films. So because of this perestroika, mm-hmm. you know, so we. Uh, invented our company Kinema, which was yeah. invented in 89. Mm-hmm. 89, and uh, st- now I still work in the same company. In the is... I know. <laughs> <laughs> and after we met in Berlin, you do a few of us, yes. and after you starting doing exactly in your independent way the films you wanted to do. And uh, but you, you need time to make any film. You know, uh, it was about three, four years before, before between any film. In, in, if you remember, there were, we worked with you together. For, there were three made, films year after year. Yes, we made uh, uh, a few of us. Uh, freedom? No, the house, the house and freedom. And freedom. And they were each year. Yeah, it, it's true. It was fast. But maybe maybe I lost a lot, I mean, of energy. You know, you have to you have to gather something, you know, from the world, from your life. You have to say something to people, you know. If you are starting to make very fast some and uh, you need time to reinvent yourself. Yes, you have to. You have to. Uh, 
appreciate suck, so, suck yeah. something from the right. world right. and life, you know, yeah. something new and something. Yes. Uh, I never worked in uh, in the way that uh, there is an idea, you know, mm. this is an idea, this is a kind of story about uh, actual things or something. It was not my, it's not my way. Uh, so I was talking about the heart of the people, you know, mm. and it's, if you are doing it so often and so quick, Sometimes your self heart starts to be empty, you know, you don't suddenly are lost, you, know, you have time, need time to find out what happens. But now you are, you know, I know you made what, uh, uh, about nine, ten uh, feature films already, something. Ten. Ten, ten feature films. And now yourself, you know, you are, uh, you know, you, with the uh, old, you know, films went all, all over in the festivals, the film opening a little bit all over. This film in the desk uh, was uh, pre-selectionated for Cannes. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a pity you, uh, Cannes didn't happen exactly in this time, but you, you went to San Sebastian, you know, there's a recognition of your work. And you find it easy now that it was in uh, 20 years ago, if you have an idea or you have still the your cinema you know the way that you want to shoot and everything is still something that uh, you know uh, needs you know you know uh, you know fights in a way that the films can happen you know it needs it still yeah. needs it still it still i could say the same uh, because you know okay you have uh, experience you have uh, so on and so on but also you don't have let's say this uh, uh, i don't know yours uh, yeah. you know very fresh eyes very fresh energy then you don't know when you don't know it much thing many things uh, looks easier yeah And today, in, today yeah. I'm already know that it's yeah. really you have funny. an innocence that you don't have anymore. <laughs> yes, you know? I don't have. So always I'm 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 good when and feel fine when I'm thinking about the film, you know. And later when when I start, I'm starting to make the film, it's like you know, in United in in America they have catching horses, you know, big cattle horses. Yes. They don't see the boar, so they yes. run yes. and it goes narrow, more narrow, yeah, narrow, man, narrow. Man, narrow. Man. It's like, like with a film. In the beginning, you are free. You can imagine you lay on the bed or whatever you want to do. You can do with anything. Mm. And then with every each preparation, every shot, every scene, you are narrow, more narrow, more narrow, yeah. more narrow. Until, <laughs> and it's all, all the times, it's strange, but all the time it's the same amount to do, to, to, to of work, you know, yeah. even when you are in the last moment of the, uh, of the editing, the last moment of the mixing, you still have a lot of things to do, you know, yeah. it's, it's not more small, but you cannot change anything, you're already caught, mm. you know, it's uh, at the end. And okay, and also my, I don't know, it's good or bad, I don't, I don't know, but it's a way why how I try to to do the films. I I try to gain time um, because even nowadays I see a lot of that. Then people um, are very tight in in, in days. No, you, it's something that you cannot. You cannot uh, make a film in four or five weeks that, you know, or six weeks that usually what the producer asks to a director to mm -hmm. do a film. You need your time, you need your, you know, this freedom, and that, that is true, that you know, doesn't, uh, uh, you know, it, it becomes more complicated for everyone, even for the crews, for the actors, for everything to be free. So 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 long because you need it this time. This is your way of uh, of doing the films. I think it's different from other ones. Maybe, but also I see that uh, people are planning. Uh, I saw many plannings. I mean, of uh, 
different people. They plan uh, to do in 10 shots per day, you know, and then they pl put it in, in six weeks uh, and then finally they do two shots per day or three shots per day. They cannot do more. I mean, it's impossible. It, I, either you have to, uh, to forget about quality, you have to forget about uh, uh, actor didn't worked well you cannot reshoot because you cannot you know and and it's uh, and unfortunately there is no possibility to write in the title that sorry you that, cannot do this, it this what this i wanted not, or something <laughs> <laughs> this was bad this was yeah. bad sorry it is, it's no and um, so we try to work on our own way we try to have our own equipment our own systems our everything to be as free as possible and to escape to these obligations. Yeah, so we, we still shooting on the Soviet with the Soviet lamps, which are right. heavier, bigger, but they, they, they give the same light, you know. Yeah. It's a big heavier, but it's not, not a problem. They cost nothing. And um, so and you are still shooting in 35 all the time. Huh? You're still shooting 35. No, no. Uh, I, I stopped shooting the defy when red appeared, oh, the yes. red camera. Yeah. I was long time investigating shooting on, on, on digital uh, because I knew that it's easier and, and uh, better. Uh, but it was still, the quality was still bad. There was no black. Mm. Even when they presented in Berlin, Sony mm. camera, which is already for cinema, but it was not. And the amount of, and only when the, the red started, the red company, and then other companies okay. came. Yeah. Uh, the problem was to record a lot of materials online in immediately, you know, before we had a lot of discs around you, you yes. almost couldn't move with the camera. And so when they invented that, I, I went to this hmm. uh, because it's not a problem, the digital, because you can do that. The problem is the character of the light mm -hmm. and uh, especially the character of the light. And you can make a 35 absolutely flat and, 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 and digital, digitally looking film on 35. I've seen that uh, because of... Uh, wrong lighting or wrong composition or whatever everything is not in machines it is mm -hmm. in, 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 in how you use the light how you know to, uh, yeah where to yes, put it yes. where to how to light it from which angle you shoot and so on okay and uh, but in this film is a um, the, the last one is a is your in terms of budget is the most ambitious project you had because it's a period film you shot i think in two periods different periods uh, yeah we had a very long period but we had a gap because there was a first absolutely snowy winter during 15 years yeah so we couldn't shoot anything else we had to release the crew and we ended in the early spring uh, so in the spring it was it was most difficult yes in terms of, shoot, of, of uh, also we had let's say to build that uh, houses wow. of yeah. Klauga and everything mm -hmm. it was built you don't have it anymore if you have it's a fragment so only mm -hmm. some walls but the, the roofs are different there's mm -hmm. a different uh, gardens and so on absolutely for the, the ones that are singers you didn't see the film film is in a is a uh, is a uh, is shot the period was is uh, 1948 and during the you know the partisans against the occupation of uh, soviet mm -hmm. union and that it's a uh, it's more complicated in terms of everything production and for you as well you know in a way to to shoot and the uh, but you know the film has this incredible you know reaction all over the world 
and uh, we try. I think there are, there is a small opposition from Portugal, and uh, they will release the film soon. I think in the beginning of next year. The film has been released already in Lithuania. You told me it is. Yes, and and uh, the other countries, any other country, or they are still waiting for yeah, this because of the COVID. Of COVID, we, to, we released before it. Yeah, we did not know about COVID and, anything and before the COVID. You know. And um, and I hope we see it in Portugal, in the in the cinemas very soon, and uh, all over the the world. Next project you have already? I have it. Uh, as usually, I, I'm not willing to talk much about it. Okay. Uh, but um, it, it it should have happened in all the Europe, like a road movie. Mm -hmm. But we had to change yeah. to Lithuania. The same, everything is the same. In fact, it's mm. a heart. It's inside of you. It's a heart. It's a, it's a road move inside of you. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a road move, a road yeah. move around <laughs> Lithuania. Yeah. Uh, because of COVID, uh, we yeah. don't know when they close the which border and yeah. when and so yeah. on. It's impossible. You know. But you think to shoot next year? We, you... I'm coming now. In two days, I start shooting already. Already? Yeah. Okay. Good. Something. I mean, yeah. not all. Passing, no. ma passing uh, material, yeah. passing time. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, some days of shooting, just a few days, but it's a bit of, uh, of shooting already. Okay. Now we are preparing and the shooting will be started in, in uh, spring next year. Okay. Don't... Okay, See you, you very soon, and uh, thank you for coming here in this very difficult period to to come to uh, fly over the borders. But uh, I think it was important that, uh, and I have to really thank you for coming to present your film. Yeah, and and to... thank you for inviting. I'm very okay. glad to see you again every time. Okay. It's, uh, all my memories uh, all the time are with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.